Hello and welcome back to Terraform Craft 360 Season 2 Episode 66. I went and researched this. Uh, apparently it's just too cold right now for that to be evaporating. So, more or less, I'm either going to have to reduce this temperature, because it says it re basically requires 30C, which is like 80-something degrees, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't use the... Uh, Celsius temperatures as much. I do it with uh, my chemical stuff, but that's nothing to do with my everyday life. And so I don't remember what actual temperatures. I know 100C boils pretty much water as long as it's. Uh, I think under just a direct uh, one atmosphere of pressure. I mean, I'd, I'd rather just not go into the details. I'm lazy. Tired. Not really tired, I'm just... More or less not thinking about much. Oh. I seem to be under attack. Run away. Seal shut the gates. Go to sleep. And... Nothing can get in here. And that's the benefit. I'll probably leave the bed because it's going to make me starve to death, I think. Yes, create the salad. Yes, a salad with cooked venison as the primary food. I have a feeling that's not considered a salad at that point. But it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Hey. Is it still raining right now? I don't think it should be. Nope. It's not raining. And I'm thinking about building a second floor to this building. At some point soon. We'll see. Maybe a side addition. We'll figure it out. <laughs> hmm. We also need a floor. And this is basically time until you basically wake up. And currently, when I'm running, uh, my recording, it's only about three, four times. That's usually something close to eight to twenty something times. It depends on which mods I'm running, but Terraform Craft tends to be a little taxing. Hmm. Yeah, this one still has some sort of, uh, Oh, that's fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, basically how you can tell is this. It says the temperature needs to be at 30. And I'm guessing that means bio temp, not actually the current temp. But from what I understand, this won't run until it's 30. And that's kind of an issue because it only gets around 30 in the middle of summer. Ah, that would be fun. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have salt this year, but we can probably get a good stock of it next year. One other thing I would like to see is bags. Just bags of whatever you want, either placeable or not. So you can store grains, salt, the usual stuff. But right now, our main thing is first we want to stack that because we love our delicious apples. And we'll have a nice bit of food for the next 
so often. <laughs> and let's start up the... Actually, ooh. I do know what we... Uh, I do know we need charcoal. And, funny enough, our tree farm is growing back just about the time we actually need more wood, which is relatively handy. But we have plenty of charcoal here still, so not going to worry about that too much. Probably just going to dig this out, and that'll be the end of this charcoal pit. Or at least this charcoal pit's run. So... We're pretty good. Uh, we're pretty good off right now. Hooray! More charcoal than we could probably ever use for this one project. And this design is actually relatively efficient because it produces quite a bit, as well as it's relatively easy to fill up and run. That's kind of why I like this one. It's also partially indented into the ground, so it's rather efficient like that. And it actually looks pretty good. It looks like you you could actually be building this. I think we're gonna need sand for. I'm pretty sure mortar requires that. Mortar. Oh, uh, we need lime, uh, lime water, and yeah, we need to toss sand in. Thought so. That's not an issue. It's relatively cheap to do that, and we want a knife because we need straw. And since it's all right here, might as well. We're gonna need stones as well. This is gonna be a long process, but unfortunately, it has to be done. Once we have this, however, it shall be amazing. Having iron tools is really one of the big steps to actually doing something. Uh, what we want to do is we want a lot of plates. Because we're going to be welding them. I want to get that one up and have all four of these light this up. Everything will be good. Uh, apparently there's a new update that recently went out, and I'm probably going to update it at some point soon. It is the... What is it? TerraformerCraft 79.29 or something like that? I really wasn't focused on the actual update. I was more focused on what the update basically has. And the update basically fixes a few bugs and implements a few features that are relatively useful. So we'll be updating that at some point. This item has wouldn't worked. Hopefully that will not affect anything. Because it will be very upsetting if it does affect it. That's why I'm uh, sending that one first. Is I want to make sure that it works for welding. And if it doesn't, well then I'm going to be very angry. Very. Very, very angry. Not really that angry, but you understand what I mean. Uh, I think, while I'm preparing that, I can get a saw. And we can start preparing the hunting tower. Let's see, what's the temperature? 18, 19? I think I'm going to put it around 20. Because I'm actually going to, in reality... Uh, the sun will evaporate water regardless of the direct temperature because it sublimates, uh, sublimates at some points. And where's the saw? Okay. I just wanted to get that pretty quickly because we're going to be needing that soon. And I could probably start building things while I wait. There we go. This one and this one. Oh. Wow, it lost all of its temperature immediately. Wow. I think I need to close off the area. Uh.
That was a fun one. Okay. Come on. Ah, that's not cool. No. Okay. Anger rising. Anger rising severely. Anger rising to absurd levels. I need to get everything out of my inventory that doesn't need to be in my inventory. Okay, let's do it. Quickly, 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 quickly. Come on. Okay, it works. Hooray. Ugh. Okay. Just want to get these out of my inventory. Don't need that either. Ugh. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be glad when I get out of this Bronze Age. It's been annoying me. Because the Bronze Age is the most boring age here because one it melts faster than copper it's a lot more finicky than copper and really the copper age doesn't exist if you have any like understanding of where to find these metals the copper age never exists it is depressing the bronze age is just annoyingly depressing because of how it's basically drags itself along and then once you get to the iron age everything seems to be pretty much what you'd expect what you'd want and i feel that's something that really shouldn't happen because i mean it's supposed to be the bronze age a age of basically pottery, culture, armor, weapons, stuff like that. I mean, it's supposed to be a fun age, but the Bronze Age is like the worst in Terra Farmcraft because it takes so long. And once you get Iron Age, then it's just everything's fine. You seem like it should be the way it is. Can work, can weld. Come on. There you go. What happened to the other one? What happened to my other plate? Oh, it went down there. Hooray. Get that out of my inventory. There we go. Now we're pretty much almost done with the plates. Everything is really looking up for us. We only need three more plates, or double plates in this case, to be done. <sighs> I'm going to be really angry if this only requires single plates. Because I remember it required double plates. Yeah, it requires double plates. I mean, we could have gone with bismuth bronze, but that requires two separate materials, and we don't have one, which would be zinc. So, it's actually just better for us to not mess with it.
Yeah, I just didn't want to have to deal with him. He was getting too close, and... I don't like things that get too close to my territory. This is my land. None may enter. None may leave. All must get shot. So says I, the lord of the land. I'm splash coughing myself. And that's fun. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? Come on. Can work. Just can't weld. And one of the tests I'm going to do is I am actually going to see if I can basically melt down the material. I don't know why I did that. No, no, no. Weld. You know what? I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave something in there. That has no purpose of being there. But it's going to be basically a filler so that stops happening. So that angers me. Severely. That I can't shift click into here because that is when it's the most needed because it's the shortest time window I have can work can weld basically I have to wait till it's basically on edge to actually get it done you have to basically risk it melting before you can actually get it done. Weld. Weld. Hooray. It's working a lot better than I was expecting. I'm actually almost out of coal. <sighs> well, we're just about done. The bloomery is just about complete. Everything's good. We're getting happier. Things are looking out for us. Oh, yes, everything's good. Everything is pleasing me. The flux to do it, yep. Oh, I'm getting excited because once the Iron Age comes, we're going to be kings. You know, they really needed to make a throne, or not a throne, I. Uh, what is it? A crown in the mod as well. Make it so it requires uh, maybe a jewelry bench or something like that. And basically you can put gems into it. And so you can have a king's crown. Uh, yeah, you can crown a king. Or just have some sort of RP aspect or something there that would be more entertaining. I'd probably make the Bronze Age a little bit more habitable, is if you could actually do something that didn't require steel or iron to do. And yes, you could do trading and stuff like that, but it has to be modded in, and eh, it still feels kind of lackluster. Not something you should feel when you're trying to play these types of games. Can work, can weld, hooray, 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 come on. Bring forth the loot. There we go. It's this and this. Weld. Done. Everything is fine. The world is at peace. I'm going to take all the stuff. And now, we once again have the ability to do something cool. Just place this here. Crown of Achievement, we have the Bloomery. Repeat, we have the Bloomery. <sighs> now, let's go destroy the countryside. Promptly.
first things first, I need to empty out my inventory of all this junk. Just all the junk. I need those. Just remove all the junk I don't need. I need that. Let us find the next thing to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to make some letters, but that can wait. Where do we need? Or what do we need? We need a shovel, we need these. We need sticks, okay, that's good. Just because we're gonna go dig out the countryside and prepare the next thing. Which is luckily enough, just about here, so let's do this. I'm gonna keep seven of these because it doesn't require that much. Let's eat our food. There we go. Eat more food. Drink the water. It's empty. Hooray. Shovel. Don't need that anymore. Let us be off. And the sun's just about to pop up anyway, so I don't want to worry about that. But I do have to run for a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. We'll go over here, dig up this area. Hooray! I'm just keeping an eye out for the area. Make sure things aren't coming to eat my face. And that should actually be enough mortar for most of what we need. Glad he didn't notice me. Hooray! Mortar! <laughs> Slaying the undead. Gives us some extra health and everything. Uh, what else do we need? I don't need to go over there. Yeah, one thing about one of the things about these trees is I need to chop them down because things are living in them. That does not bode well for us. Next, we need. Well, we already have the flux. We already have a barrel. Let's unseal this because this is going to be our next barrel of lime water. We're basically just going to make this into a really nice functional uh, mortar mix. And we're going to produce a lot of it. I think I need just a little bit more. Oh well. Well, I guess I could, ooh. Why am I wasting this material? Because that's not what I need. Why not? These jars work a little bit better. If I remember correctly, I can just do that. Seal it. Nope. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Unseal that. Sand. Seal. No. It doesn't... Oh, I'll put six, uh, 16 mortar. Whenever. Okay. That does work. Okay, what am I thinking? Uh, 
I thought I needed. Nope, doesn't work. So, uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? And yes, mortar is one of the benefits here. Is I'm I'm just gonna make that uh, thing a mortar. There we go. What is it? I need these. I need two, three. Because that should make plenty of this. Oh, and I, that hammer is pretty much uh, broke, so can't be using that. I definitely need to move those things. Yeah, it's just never going to run because there's not much there. Let's take that. I know, it's, yeah, that's why I put it up there. Just wanted to confirm. Yes, it is almost broken. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Don't technically need to hurry, but it's still probably good to do so. I just want to get this over with. I want to get everything done. Mortar! Hooray! Huh? 16 mortar. Hmm. Oh. That's the idea there. Oh. There we go. There we go. Don't have to worry. Everything's good. Lime water. Good. Good. Everything's good. But yeah, basically what you do for the uh, mortar and why, what I'm going to do off cam is like what why am I even doing this? Why am I doing this? Recipe. No. Uses, there we go. Just put mortar there and it makes four of them. Pretty simple. We actually don't need a lot of these, so it should be relatively good. We could also make some uh stone what is it? Stone fencing type things. And I'm not sure what I want to do with these, but I definitely want to move them somewhere over there. That way I don't have to deal with this stuff, and I don't have to keep running into them. But, yeah, till next time, if you enjoy what you're watching, like and subscribe for more. Have a nice day, see you in the next episode. Get more leather. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of fun. Especially, we look at uh, how much leather we have. We need a bellows. Eh. So, I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.